What's up guys, I'm Kaushik and in this video I would like to show you guys a demo of an app that I've been working on. I love flowcharts, I really do. I use them all the time and it kind of gives me a better visibility on the problem statement and it makes me super productive. But as the problem statement goes bigger and it gets more complicated, the flowchart, it gets really messy and I find it really hard and confusing to understand what's happening there. It kind of defeated the whole purpose of me using flowcharts in the first place. So to tackle this problem, I've been working on an app in VR to build flowcharts in 3D. This adds that new dimension to your creativity and productivity. And it's very basic, right? it's in its first beginning stages, but I would love to hear your feedback. So without any further ado, let's jump into it. Welcome to the demo guys. The first thing I want to talk about is the tutorial panel. So tutorial panel contains all the information that you need to uh, use this application, how to create shape, how to select, how to draw lines and so on and so forth. And you can always toggle your tutorial panel by pressing X on your left hand controller. And you can always get it up by again pressing X, wherever you want it, right in front of you. I want to talk about the modes. The, there are two different modes in this application. One is the shape mode and another one is the delete mode. And you can do it on the top of it. So to toggle between the shape mode and delete mode, you can press B. And you can again uh, go back to shape mode by pressing B. You can always switch back and forth. The shape mode is used to create shapes and lines and delete mode will obviously is to delete the shapes and lines. How do, how do we draw shapes? So right here is our shape panel and currently for this base preliminary test we only have five different shapes. And to draw a shape, to get a shape onto our screen, all we have to do is hover over the shape in the panel and grab it. To grab it, you have to press your uh, middle finger button, this one. And now with the shape, you can move around wherever you want. You can rotate it however you want and you can resize it the way you want it to resize. And to draw the line, all you have to do is hover over the shape and press the index button, so this one, and release it whenever you're willing to. So let's say I'm, I'm hovering over the shape and pressing the index button and I'm releasing it. So now we have the shape and you, uh, the line is recentered uh, as we move the shape as well wherever we want to. Let's say you want to connect two different shapes. Let's say there's another database here. Oh, let's sneak a database. And you can put it wherever you want. Now let's say you want to connect this particular predefined process to this data shape, database. All you have to do is hover over the predefined process and press the index button and connect it to database. Now you can move both database and predefined process and the line gets recentered accordingly. Delete mode. So to delete lines and shape, make sure that you're going to delete mode by pressing P and you can read which mode you're on. And once you're in the delete mode, let's say you want to delete a shape. All you have to do is hover over the shape and grab it. Again, for grabbing, you have to press the index button, this one. And to delete a line, all you have to do is to hover over the line and press it and just grab it. And again, let's let's check that again. Hover over the shape, delete it. So when you delete the shape, all the lines that are corresponding to that shape will also be deleted. Have renaming. You can rename uh, lines and shapes. And the, the way it works is, you can hover over the shape or the line and press button A on your right hand uh, controller. So hover and press A. And now you can shape. You can name it whatever you want. I'm going to name it P1 for the specific purpose. And the same is the case with this one. You can hover over and press A. And let's call it P2. Now let's check that out for the line. So hover over the line and press A. And you can name it L. And now if you resize it, the, the text is also going to be resized accordingly. Zooming in and zooming out. Let's say we drew this complicated diagram. It's not that complicated, but uh, let's say there's a bigger diagram than this, but let's just deal with this. Now, 
when you're working on something, it's so hard to move your stretch of body. We might not have the enough space to do it. It doesn't give us the, give us the clarity that we want. We want to see the entire diagram as a whole, right? So for that, all you have to do, or you can zoom in and zoom out in uh, in your x direction, in your y direction, and so on. So to zoom in and zoom out, all you have to do is use your controller joystick, and you can go back. And now you got better visibility than before, and you can go sideways. You can go completely side, and now you have a fresh screen where you can create a new flowchart. Uh, this is let's say this is another flowchart of another process or something like that. And now this flowchart is talking to those two flowcharts. And all you have to do is draw a line, zoom in to wherever you want to do it, and connect the lines. And now you can zoom in all the way back wherever you want and now that gives you the extra clarity that you need so there you go guys that was the demo i want to show you guys and if you if you are a meta quest 2 user you can start using this basic preliminary application right away all you have to do is submit your quest linked email in the google form which is in the description and i'll send out an email as soon as possible Apart from that, if you guys have any feedback on this application, the things that you like, the things that you didn't like, what can be done better, please do mention them in the comments, those will be really helpful. I hope you liked the video. If you like so, please do hit that like button and I hope you have a good day ahead.